as you have heard in the previous um, recording, illegal aliens mafia member and Department of Social Services uh, employee at Livingston County, Debbie. They never uh, uh, say their last names because they know they're committing crimes and they don't want to fully identify themselves. David claims that the uh, New York State Medicaid uh, for Luis Oyarsun has an ID number and uh, in Livingston County is going to be the, uh, the same ID number as the Medicaid, the false Medicaid issued by illegal aliens mafia member uh, Kevin McGuire. It's going to be the same n uh, number. This is um, false information because if the uh, Livingston County Department of Social Services uh, issues a Medicaid, the uh, Medicaid number should be different from the previous Medicaid, which was a false Medicaid uh, anyways, from Westchester County. Um, when Luis Ayaso moved from New York County to uh, Westchester County, which is 15 minutes away, the Medicaid changed because <coughs> Um, the numbers changed, and now that she moved from Westchester County to um, Livingston County, the Medicaid number should change also because it is eight hours away, not only 15 minutes like New York from Westchester County, but uh, Westchester County is eight hours away from Livingston County by driving. So the fallacy that they want to uh, make make citizens believe that the the Medicaid in Westchester County uh, is the same number as the Livingston County's Medicaid is um, a fallacy and a joke, because uh, by reason only, you can see that if the Westchester County Department of Social Services illegal aliens mafia member Kevin McGuire. Um, closed the cases in Westchester County when we left um, in March 5th, 2016. Uh, the, none of the numbers from those uh, cases should work because the cases are closed. And uh, what they are doing in uh, the Department of Social Services uh, in Livingston County is that they are continuing with the um, trafficking of citizens' identities and government benefits in the cases uh, from Westchester County. So they are, they are um, the same um, illegal alias mafia members and they continue with the trafficking of uh, citizens' identities and government benefits. Uh, and uh, this is the reason why they uh, keep the same ID number. Again, if a case is closed, none of the numbers from that case uh, will work in another county or in the same county. They need to open a new case. And often what the, the Illegal Aliens Mafia, according to my 15 years research, does is they have the, their members working at the Department of Social Services um, close a case uh, for Illegal Aliens Mafia members and illegals in the country and open a new case so they can continue getting the benefits courtesy of the taxpayers uh, and the illegal aliens uh, can live off our taxpaying uh, citizens. So um, what this Debbie person uh, is saying uh, is not true and she believes that she uh, deceives um, people but uh, it is ridiculous. Uh, her, her argument is ridiculous and she should come up with something else. Again, this is the uh, documentation of the Illegal Aliens Mafia and uh, the documentation of how the Illegal Aliens Mafia controls uh, the government because they have government employees in power and uh, abusing the citizens uh, left and right.